Hello everybody, my name is Gadamar, welcome back to another video of Civ 6. We're going to continue the series. On the last video, we tried to take out the barbarians that were around us, but uh, it just didn't work out, really. They're basically everywhere, I just managed to take out one barbarian enemy. Uh, there's uh, an encampment right here, there's another one that spawned right there, guys. There's probably going to be another, the, like there's one right here. It's probably going to be another one that's going to respawn here. Like I took like five camps in total almost in the last video. And uh, that's quite a lot guys. I got to I got to say it's quite a lot. So really all I'm trying to do right now is move up to this tile right here, take out the encampment so I can finally I, I'm definitely going to need a settler too. I am going to need to settle fast. That's what I'm going to try to do in this video, settle as fast as possible because Otherwise, it's going to be a big time problem, guys, for all of us, really. I am going to need to use my builder as well to, I guess, uh, re, uh, like build these farms and everything, help out my city as much as possible. These barbarians are going to be big time trouble, but I can't, like, really do anything about that. I am finally in range, it looks like, to uh, attack the scout, enemy scout with my walls. This is the kind of problem we're going to have to deal with, I guess. I am going to fortify him. I'm going to go ahead and move up my units. There we go. I really just need... Now, he did plunder my trade route. That's not good at all. I don't have any trade routes anymore. This go these goddamn barbarians are going to be a problem, guys. They're going to be a really big problem. Let's continue next turn. At least we're going to be in a golden age uh, for sure. As you can see right here for the next era. So that's that's really good for us. That's going to help us out tremendously right there. There we go. We're going to get all of our units there. Let me just, I guess... We, can, we could quickly purchase that tile right here. But I kind of... I want to save it. I kind of want to uh, make my... I'm going to let my uh, builder in the city. Just so we can sleep. Because those barbarians... I'm not so sure just yet. Uh, how much does it cost to have a settler? I can't purchase anything with faith just yet. So a settler costs 210 gold. And it's 7 turn. It's kind of a lot when you think about it. It's really a lot of turns. I don't know if we're gonna, I'm going to go for researching it. Or quickly purchasing it. I don't know guys. It might be a tough one. Let me just attack them. There we go. Go here. Assault them again. There we go. They're dealt with. Um, no, you know what? No, I'm going to uh, definitely... Well, do I need housing? Oh, I need way more housing. Yeah, I do need more housing. So I'm just going to create farms. I need more housing for my, my place. So might as well. Otherwise, really growing nicely. But it's growing too quick. Because I've got... To, I don't have any other cities. So... Oh, only one city? It's not enough, guys. It's just... It's just not. Uh, almost filled up. Let me just attack them while I'm at it. There we go. Um, yes, I guess I'm going to rebuild all the farms possible. I still going to have one build left. The encampment is finally done, so I'm going to be able to protect... If there's an encampment right here that spawns once again, I'm going to be able to at least protect my city from them. And I can get barracks. Which is going to give us more production even. Or I could get a commercial app for get, getting more money. Which is probably what I kind of want to go for here. I want to wait before getting another trader. Because those barbarians are tro troubling guys. And also I want to wait for my new city. So you know we're going to get. We're going to go for a barracks. I could quickly purchase it. So I'm going to wait for the barracks. I'm going to go for, I guess, commercial lab. It's going to be really important to get one of those. Can I get a tile, which is... Okay, so this is a farm, right? Yes, it's a farm. So instead of a farm, we already have like three farms. I'm, I'm cool with uh, getting rid of one of these farms and getting a, a commercial lab instead. I really need those that money right now. Uh, get more stuff like this. I think, there we go, they are suzerain uh, now. Rentio, she's our suzerains. Definitely going to be able to, to do lots of great things with them. They've got 
We did have a tribal village uncovered somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Now, since I have them, I can Levi their army, but it's going to cost me money, so I'm not going to do it. Definitely not going to do it. Hopefully, they take care of these barbarians over here so they can go help me out here. I need their help. Let's go, buddy. If bread is the first necessity of life, recreation is a close second. Okay, let's go. Hopefully, my sound now is... A, once again, I hope... Like, my voice is okay and everything, because... Last time, it wasn't, guys. For some reason, once again, it... It kind of, uh... I don't know why, but... The mic, I, it's just not working. I think I'm good enough. I held up good enough. So, we just... I just want to take out the encampment. And we need a settler as fast as possible. Uh, maybe one or two turns we're going to be able to quickly purchase a settler. We need to settle as fast as possible. A plus one housing and LCD with at least two special district. I don't know about that. No, I still need the gold and the faith per turn. It's really important to have that. So we got three new civics that we got to choose. Drama and poetry. Military trading, uh, training. Um, horses, iron. Okay. Yield for pillaging. That's going to give us an envoy, but diplomatic, uh, defensive tactics. I'm going to take that instead. I'm going to take that, yeah, for sure. All right, let's continue, guys. In four turns, we're going to get iron working. I don't have any iron anywhere near me. But still, we just entered the medieval era, which is really good. We're going to be in the golden age now. Let's go. Attack these, uh, attack these fools. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here because there we go. I need to. Uh, I need to do this. So in the next turn, we're gonna be able to take out these barbarians for sure. Um, what about anything else? I don't think I have anything else to do. Not with my builder, at least nine turns still for the commercial lab to be done. One more turn in order to get the settler done, so we can settle over here. That's the first one I'm gonna go do is settle over here, guys. Because the encampments keep, the barbarian encampments be, uh, keep spawning uh, there. So we definitely need something to happen here. Golden Age. And get. We could get, okay, so Arbor, Commercial Lab and Arbor Districts uh, would give us more gold and more science. Uh, the Eurekas would provide an additional plus 10% of technology cost. Uh, or... Okay, so that's that's good, I guess. But uh, pen brand culture, I don't care. Movement for all builders. I'm kind of already have plenty, plenty movement. I don't really need that. I'm gonna take uh, free inquiry. Why not? Wait, I can. Oh, I can do two things at a time. Oh, that's really great. That's really great. In that case, I'm gonna do the plus two movement. Oh, I can get really. Oh, I can get three things. Okay. So movement for all missionaries, the possible inquisitors, additionally nutrient. I don't need that. I'm going to take this. The culture, gold, science, and the movement. Plus faith, plus gold too. Everything. That's going to be a great, a great era for us, guys. Holy. Super great. Finally out of our misery. And there's our first world congress. I don't know if I have any points. Yes, I do have any points, uh, enough points to vote. A hundred. So we got to vote for either having a hundred of the city states yield type when sending uh, trade routes. Oh, that would be really great. That would be really great. New districts built. This player has act culture bomb. Huh. New district built by this player acts as a culture bomb. That would kind of be cheap for anyone else. It's either that or this player's borders will not grow via culture. Uh, um, city states of this uh, type do not provide their unique citizen bonuses. No, I need that. I need that in for me as well. And what if I do, I guess, trade the city state? Hang on. Huh. Shit, I don't know. I don't know what um, 
my city that my students are. I don't I really don't know. You know what? No, let me just do that and I guess anything really just uh, uh, a trade city state I guess and culture I'm gonna say that uh, I can't choose no I'm not gonna say that then I'm gonna choose that. and for me culture there we go it's only the amount of points I can get so let's see if any, what's gonna go, go through here we don't have enough points really to do anything let's see what the Congress decides so sovereignty passed um, plus 100 percent for the trade routes for the trade city state that was accepted okay a new district built by this player acts as a culture bomb that's as well as worked so nice the Lord made us all out of iron then he turns up the heat to forge some of us into steel so we're gonna get culture bombs if you do certain things guys which is really good for us there we go the camp is done for take it down can finally upgrade our units if we have iron which do we oh we do have plenty of iron actually yes we do all right good so barbarian encampment is done for we fa finally can build quickly purchase our settler we're gonna go ahead and use him next term we're, you're gonna have to settle over there we can turn re uh, turn back again uh, if we turn back, there's the, part of the camp's probably gonna spawn again here, but I don't have a choice. I gotta, I gotta turn around, guys. I gotta turn around. We're gonna go over here instead, and we're gonna take out that encampment that's right here. Uh, iron is done. Let's see what we got. We're gonna be able to upgrade our, our units into a swordsman or two. So, could go for celestial navigation. That's gonna give us stable, though. I don't know guys which one should I do first I'm thinking they're telling me to go for na navigation but I don't think it matters too much I'm just gonna go for horseback riding right here I think I'm good for everything else yes let's continue in one turn we're gonna be a population of eight of course uh, because the settler every time you get a settler he gets minus one in population there's a storm raging on it's getting pretty close to our city. Please do not get into our city once again. Leave us alone. That would be pretty nice for me to like have a chance to get to not get a, another one of these things happen to me. Just fortify you. I guess I'm going to go there. Might be quicker. Okay, settler. I want you here. I want you here. We're going to settle right here. That should be the perfect place right here, guys. All right. Um, anything else? I don't think we do have anything else. Now, we do need a trader. That's the next thing I'm going to quickly purchase is the trader. Afterwards, I'm going to quickly purchase the barracks. But we need a trader to get um, to NTO again. Now, the campmen and can the barbarians are going to be a problem. Yes. But I don't have a choice. I need a trader to get more money right now. These barbarians. Oh, the storm is raging. Okay. okay, the storm is out. It was about to go into my city, but um, it decided to uh, actually went out just before doing it. So that's that's really good for us, guys. Really good. Let's go over here. Fortify for you. All right. Don't have anything else so far. And uh, now every time we're gonna have a new uh, a new u military unit, guys. It's gonna spawn over here too because it, it spawns into uh, military uh, encampments and stuff. Six goal, uh, six turns for the uh, actually five turns for the commercial lab still. There we go. Settler, I do need you. I said I was gonna settle right here, so let's do it. Settle right here. This is gonna be our new city right here. Go over here. Go over here. We definitely need housing over Ottawa, but the thing is, we don't have any territories. Oh, we do have a new, a new area. So, here we go. Here's your, here's your housing, buddy. There we go. That should help you out, at least for a little while until we actually upgrade ourselves again. Population of eight two, it's kind of a lot. You think about it. Growing really quick with um, with this city. 
Okay, so you you need to go back. You are gonna settle. Oh, look at that encampment, guys. What did I say? Now the encampment decided to go right here to spawn once again right here. We're gonna get us uh, our city done right here already, since you already know our new city, our third city. It's probably gonna be. Uh, it's gonna have to be around this place. Probably here guys or new city here or here somewhere around that area around the, the new wonder basically So Toronto is our new city. Uh, hang on. Let's go back. Let's go back because uh, the, the encampment is there. We need to take it out. So new city Toronto. Let me just equip all of this so it can grow nicely pretty close to to this one to uh, Ottawa, which means we can definitely do a lot of good things with it um let's while we're at it let's get the granary done purchase what we can quickly purchase and we're definitely going to need a builder to get started on these we need we have a lot of resources over here and first thing i want to research i guess could be the trader no the trader is going to take too long but the builder is going to take too long too um monument is doesn't matter Let's just get the ancient walls. We do really need the ancient walls to get anything done, really. I think we're good. Let's continue, guys. I'm really loving playing this game a lot. And with the new the new stuff that was added to, it's pretty good. Volcano becomes active. Oh, that's not good. Antioch is going to get destroyed in half by that volcano. That's really not good, guys. All right, you. Just go over here, and you're going to protect our city from these barbarians. Same thing for you, all of you, really. Uh, yeah, just go there. I definitely need to protect my city right here. We are gaining 17 gold per turn, but I'm gonna really need that uh, to quickly purchase that trader right here. Let's go, let's go into the next turn. Not gaining enough um, Eureka moments and stuff. Not gaining enough score. Let's go. Stack you fool, almost dead. Oh, and yan and yan and yan. Gotta take him out. Gotta take him out, guys. There we go. Take that scout out. Oh, that's not good. They've got another encampment there. Yeah, yeah, these encampments are everywhere, really. Hmm. Very on. Very not good. <laughs> that's really not good that they're everywhere. We can get military units pretty nicely and quickly, but. I'm gonna wait on that. I don't want to get uh, military units for no reason, guys. The trade route between Toronto and Ottawa should be safe enough. On, unlike, uh, like, oh my God, they killed my unit. Uh, unlike uh, any other unit, really. Uh, let me just kill that unit right here. I'll take him out while I'm at it. It's gonna give me XP. I'm gonna need a warrior unit now. All I'm gonna do in this goddamn series is a, is fight against a barbarians. That's all I'm gonna do, cause they're everywhere and we can't. My the city states seem to don't no be able to take it out. Is that is spent in the saddle. Okay, horseback riding. We've got horsemen now and we've got stables. Okay, I don't care. I don't care about that encampment. Really, I don't. It's too far from my cities for me to care about. I uh, same thing for this one. I just want to take do take care of these where I know I'm gonna s have to settle. All right, let's attack. There we go. Let's attack these guys. We got um, four things. Animatics could be really good for us, but it's good, only gonna give us the petrol, which is a wonder. It's not really important. Uh, catapult, aqueduct. Uh, that could be really good for us. Um, this not so much. So navigable could search or engineering. I'm gonna go for engineering. I'm gonna need the best military units right now because it's getting it's getting up there. It's getting pretty tough. Okay, let's uh, up next. We could get a wonder really, but uh, I don't feel like that would be the best scenario to get right now. I feel like getting the market for getting more money. Or getting more production quickly. No, no. You know what? Let's get more production quicker. Uh, quicker. Um, stable. 
Let's get the barracks first. Let's get the barracks done. All right. We need to we're eight, we're gaining eight gold per turn now, and we're gonna get a uh, population of two right now with Toronto. Toronto, we need a builder to do something, but I can't like really do anything. Let me just get over here. There we go. I'm gonna have to take out uh, take out these guys. Take out this scout right here first off. There we go. This barbarian uh, encampment is gonna be done for for the next turn probably or the ne uh, the turn afterwards. Nine per turn now, and we don't even have any settler uh, or any like what's it called trader. As long as uh, we don't have any trader, it's gonna be pretty bad. But uh, when we're gonna get a trader, guys. That money is going to go up pretty nicely. All right, let's go. Nice. Uh, next turn, we're going to be able to take out that uh, encampment. We got a new envoy. It's going to need to send it over there, I guess. We don't really have a choice. We don't uncover anybody else. And I can't... Like, I can't uncover anybody else as long as there are barbarians around who, to piss me off. Like, to screw with me. Let's uh, continue, unless I can quickly purchase anything. No, I really want to save my money right now for the the trader. I've, uh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, I need to save it. Need to save all of this, guys. Two turns, it's going to be publishing the population nine for Ottawa. Invincibility lies in the defense. The possibility of victory in the attack. Defensive tactics, there we go. Got that. Uh, I'm gonna just go here. There we go. One encampment done for. I'm gonna keep this archer around just so there's no funny business happening. All right. Actually, there we go. Just so there's no funny business happening here. I'm gonna keep this other, um, I guess, archer around here. There we go. That's done. Volcano eruption. I think, yeah, it erupted. So now Antioch is definitely in a big in trouble guys let's see what we got as an option right here so city strength and range strength okay so city defense strength kind of need that would be pretty good to have that uh, defensive buildings plus 100 uh, percent for that um, okay so I kind of need autocracy now that I think about it hmm it's okay I'm gonna keep what I have uh, I guess military training what could we do right here drama military training for sure we're gonna get that and also we do have a new thing so we're gonna appoint a new one which one could be really good for our city trade routes definitely this one definitely this one uh, so appoint this one to Toronto there we go it's gonna help us out tremendously and I guess we're gonna keep fighting and if see the defense strength we're gonna keep fighting but it's outside of our territory for now so I don't feel like we really need it we do have the money for the trader though so let's let's get it let's get the trader done next turn we're gonna be able to send him to Ottawa get this trade going get more money this game is pretty quiet um you think about it so just go over here and this entire area is going to out no wing campus as long as you have a unit there to like keep make sure that uh, nothing happens let me just send that uh, there we go and Ottawa plus two food plus three production plus two gold per turn really good really helping us out right here we're gonna get a, a trade route as well so that's really good for us. Now 20 gold per turn, it's not that much of a difference, but it's still it's still pretty good for us. It's gonna help us out, guys, in the long run. In the long run, it's gonna help us out. And the plus production as well is really helping out the, these two cities. That's the one thing it's gonna do for you. So I'm gonna go help out with this archer unit. I'm gonna help out my, uh, my friends over here, my suzerains. There we go. Let me just, there we go. Get, get rid of this uh, unit while I'm at it. Everything else? Don't think so. We're struggling for amenities right here. Definitely gonna need amenities in this region. 
nothing that gives me that for this region but anything really I could get I don't think so guys amenities like I don't have anything that can uh, entertainment complex is the one that can do it but I need population of 10 I'm not gonna get that uh, it's gonna be uh, complicated for sure one turn we're gonna get engine apples we're gonna be able to get that one man's magic is another man's engineer there we go uh let's continue to go on with i'm gonna go on road it's gonna be uh, quicker faster better for us there we go um we need a new a new stuff new research so now engineering is done we can go for mathematics or celestial navigation i feel like this is the best option right here um we got money now uh not enough not enough yet to do anything so I want to keep my money to quickly purchase buildings and stuff like that. Yes, it's always what I use my money for in this game. It's always why I got faith as well, because I used to quickly purchase units with faith and purchase Those buildings with money. Interpose, must often wipe a bloody nose. Military training done. All right, that's really good for us. I'm just going to fortify you, buddy. And you are just going to go here, I guess. And as of you, now we can, uh, not yet, not yet, but I do need the builder. <sighs> yeah, the monument can wait, I guess. I do need the builder. I need the builder to help us out big time. Da Drama and poetry is the only one we can do right now, so let's just do it. Another envoy. We got five envoys right now and one with just our sewer in itself. 20 gold per turn still. Now, what are... Are new things yield gains pillaging it doesn't matter all improved horses and iron resources yield uh, additional resources per turn I don't need that it's not as much as barbarian I really need to keep the barbarian thing upgrade because I keep fighting them another city-state just got destroyed we haven't uncovered anybody really there the other city the other states are gonna have to uncover us because at this rate it's not gonna happen on our end. Let's go help it out. There we go. We're gonna be able to get some things done in this city, uh, the city of Toronto. Established, all right. So trade routes are giving us even more, more options, more gold, more stuff. Market, uh, should I get the market or the temple of Artemis? Uh, I think I can't get the tar temple just yet, guys. I need to get the market because I need amenities, I can't get amenities. I need this thing to get done quickly. All right, uh, anything else? I think we're good. Let's continue on. We really need to do at least to get to normal age right here. We're struggling to get the uh, error scores and we're good. We're, we're moving on pretty quickly. So that's not too good for us. I'm gonna take out that encampment. That's what I mean, you're gonna use that unit for. Go over here, you're gonna do that there we go We're gonna upgrade ourselves money 22 gold per turn now really good anything else don't think so we're still good continue on one turn we're gonna get celestial navigation these it's going pretty quick for our science and all i ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by there we go so all of our science thingies it's going pretty fast guys we can we are able to really research things really fast uh let's get those things a little bit of farming right here i really need to get a uh, see there we go we i quickly have created this farm and since these two cities are together they're really together uh it helps them out both uh they're they're pretty close together so it helps them out both we can get shipbuilding, still gonna be much better. Uh, Colossus, actually, let's get, let's go for the one that takes less time, so. Mathematics, I guess. We still got 75 goals only. In one turn, we're gonna finally get the ancient walls in here, which is really good. The builder, I don't have any more builder. Uh, I'm gonna get to, I'm gonna need another builder, guys. And you're gonna, I'm definitely gonna need another, build, another builder in here. I think I'm good. I need, I'm gonna need a warrior eventually, but 
need to focus on my cities, man. I just I can't just focus all the way, all the time on barbarians. It's just, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna work if I do that. Monument for Toronto. All right, so this is Toronto. I could get the government plaza when I think about it, but why would I do that just yet? I, I need much bigger things, better things. I guess that's gonna give us. Let's do. Uh, how much turn is it gonna work? 19 turns for Temple of Artemis. It's a little bit too much, guys. Way too much. Not gonna focus on that. We need to focus on stuff that's gonna help us out in the long run. And I'm thinking that uh, Arbor could be help us out big time. So let's just get the Arbor right here. Yeah, that's gonna help us out big time for the gold. Here we go. Error score? Yeah, that's uh, not too good. We need more error score, guys. I have enough error scores. Oh my god, look at these units that are spawning though. They're spawning so many units, it's almost ridiculous at this point. It's ridiculous at the rate that they're going for with the unit thing. Okay. Um, money, I still don't have anything. I'm not getting enough money go per turn or anything. I'm gonna have to get the trader going. Uh, or like um, another settler. I'm gonna have to wait for to have a settler, guys, definitely. Quickly purchase a set another settler to settle over here, just so I may I can be sure that uh, no other uh, camp spawns there, so I can all use my stage, and all the men and women merely players. Yeah, I, I need to be able to use my other archers. So in order to do that, I obviously need to. Uh, that's going to be an upgrade for that. Nice. I obviously need to be able to use that archer right here. So I need a settler. Let's see what we got right here. Uh, okay, so it's just that. That doesn't matter. A new civic, naval tradition, recorded history, or this. Okay, which one does give us? Uh, this looks like it's gonna give us government title. What about? Uh, I need government title. So recorded history, maybe great library. I, I'm gonna need that. That this one looks the most uh, good one. Uh, mathematics one in one turn in one turn we're gonna get it all right let's go let's go get that really quick if I were again beginning my studies I would follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics here we go mathematics done I'm gonna get the upgrade come back strength when a copy no I'm gonna go versus land and naval units there we go we are gonna start moving no i'm gonna keep him here so as long as there's a unit here no other campaign is gonna spawn anything else can we okay so we can quickly purchase uh, stuff here nice okay so next uh, next turn i'm gonna be able to quickly purchase a setter with the faith i've got guys which is really good which you know what i means uh builder can wait I'm gonna quickly purchase with my money the monument over here or no definitely the monument over here yeah monument that the monument is done now it's gonna help us out a little bit with the amenities and housing for both cities uh technology new technology we gotta research we do ha uh, this would be really great for us machinery but uh this not so much not so much this would so it's apprenticeship or machinery Depending on where we want to go here, what we need the most right now, we kind of need three archers to get the boost right here, or uh, apprenticeship. Uh, we need three mines, and I don't have three mines. I don't have three archers. I'm thinking uh, three archers is not going to do it for me. I don't need three archers right now. Um, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to go for apprenticeship. I don't need to officially upgrade my units into crossbowmen yet I feel like that would be a little bit cheap so i'm just uh, definitely going to go for apprenticeship right here just see uh, our there we go let's just start to moving them up at least there we go and you can start since my uh, my settler is moving up hmm i don't know guys i mean there's a lot of resources around the area but especially for the seas here but i kind of want to get the open sea 
for myself here. There's a lot of potential me for me to get the open seas here. But the thing is, I don't know. The city is not going to have any resources. If I go there, um, maybe I should just settle. I should just settle right here, maybe. Maybe I should just settle right here. And that's going to give us, like, this region in itself. I, I need to settle. I'm, I'm going to settle right here, guys. It's going to give me the uh, uh, what I need anyways. Got a lot of uh, a gold per turn now. 24 gold per turn. Uh, I am going to quickly purchase eventually like a, a, a scout or something. In one turn we're going to get the market. Let's just get the market population. All this thing done for. Okay. So population of 4 for Toronto. Population of 10 for Ottawa. It's also going to have done for Ottawa. New World Congress. Okay. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got a little bit more uh, points now. Producing or purchase, purchasing military units using the chosen currency type is plus 100 uh, cost until the next World Congress. Why would I? Why, why would I want that? Pro producing, purchasing military units using chosen minus 50% of the cost until the. I want that. With, um, I'd say with faith, uh, with gold because it's military units. Uh, production towards building industry. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need um, holy site, not holy site, campus encampment, arbor, commercial lab. I'm gonna say. Entertainment complex could be really good. Um, industrial zone, government plaza. Let's go industrial zone, guys. Actually, yeah, let's go industrial zone. Give a little bit more points. Definitely get the points we can out of this. Hopefully, it's gonna pass. Please let me know if it passes. Okay, mission. Okay, so producing. Oh my goodness. All right. So if we purchase military units with faith, it's going to have plus hundred percent of the cost. So that's not good, but I don't quickly purchase uh, military units for faith. I can't do it anyways. That doesn't matter. So plus hundred percent uh, towards building. Okay. So hundred percent production. Yes, but it's Harbor. That's okay. Our grows. All right. There we go. So that's good. Let me just take care of uh, this uh, unit right here. Settler, you're going to go here. Settle uh, next turn. It's going to probably be able to settle finally. There we go. Got a new trade route available. We're going to use that trade route for our next city that's going to be here. There we go. And new production now. It said Arbor. So definitely Arbor is the thing to go for right here. So let's just get hit. While we're at it, we got a lot of gold we can gain from these things. So I'm thinking uh, just quickly purchasing a tile right here could be the thing to do. And that's what I'm definitely going to do. So just quick purchase a tile, get the arbor going right here. I think this is a great place to end it. I'm going to end it right here. Population of 10 for Ottawa, population of 4 for Toronto. So we got a new city. We took care of that encampment that was right here. Took care of that other encampment right here. Just so we can settle quickly here to prevent any other campaigns or spawning. There's probably going to eventually be one right here or something. But for now, I'm keeping this area to my direction. We're going to have to eventually take care of that one. We took care of that barbarian encampment. So things are starting to go better here. Uh, Antioch destroyed that encampment right here. And uh, that's really good for us. We don't have any religion or anything. But that's, that's good enough for me. I can quickly... Uh, units too as you can see and uh, there's a minus for you military units purchasing for faith but that doesn't matter because I pr quickly purchased my military units with gold not faith all right so remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video I'm gonna see you guys for the next one keep it easy